The third edition of the local conference on climate change in the Gambia hosted a two-day event at the Tarara Kairaba Jawara International Conference Center in Bijilo. Sponsored by the West African Coastal Resilience Project, the conference was themed Gambian Youth Leading Climate Change Revolution, Bringing Policy and Practice. It provided a vital platform for young people to come together, express their ideas and engage in significant discussions about the nation's climate future. Convening youth from across the nation, the conference facilitated deep discussions and activities essential for achieving the Gambia's long-term climate neutral development strategy 2050. Ms. Karige Dusise serves as the lead coordinator for the local climate change conference in the Gambia and she offers the following insights. The Gambia's climate vulnerability grows more urgent as climate disasters intensify, threatening food insecurity and biodiversity loss, rising sea levels and unpredictable rainfall patterns affecting children and youth the most. This convergence is very crucial as it brings Gambian youths together to formulate the biggest output of the conference, a national youth statement, which is a policy document that will outline the collective demands and recommendations of youths in tackling the national climate issues. Dr. Mohamed Lamin Sanyang, Project Coordinator West Africa Resilience Project, highlights the impact of climate change in the Gambia. The raising of the sea levels, which can lead to fluvial flooding, uh, coastal erosion, salt water intrusion into freshwater sources, and the loss of valuable land and habitats. This impact is quite visible in our coastal fishing landing sites. When you go to Bakau, the landing site almost disappeared now. Uh, you go to Gunjur, Tanje, it's very visible, the impacts. Um, you have extreme weather events. This causes pluvial flooding, which affects the life and livelihoods of hundreds of thousands of people, both in urban and rural Gambia. It also has impact on our agriculture. This can lead to reduced food uh, production and increased prices, affecting both rural and urban population. Therefore, the combined effects of climate change can strain the Gambia's economy. It can change, it can cause um, damage to infrastructure, increase health care costs, and reduce agricultural productivity, which can also contribute to economic instability. Hence, the Waka project, funded by uh, the World Bank in the tune of 45 million US dollars, is to strengthen the resilience of targeted communities and areas in the coastal Western Africa. The Secretary General of the Gambia Environment Alliance, Mohamed Hydra, urges the government to implement the recommendations that will be presented by the conference. Together, we continue to shape ELCOI into a platform that bridge policy and practice, ensuring that young people are not just participants, but active leaders in the climate revolution. We are not just here to talk about the climate crisis. We are here to act, to influence policy, and to demand that the voices of our youth be heard at the highest level of decision making. As we work towards developing our national youth statement, we call on the government to consider the recommendation we present and ensure they are implemented. This is not merely a request, but a call for a real actionable change that secure our future. As we move forward, let us keep our objective clear. We are here to influence policy and to hold our leaders accountable. The future we are fighting for is not abstract, it is real. It is urgent and it is ours. Let this conference be the starting point of a movement that leaves no one behind. We are the output of our national youth statement is not just considered but fully embraced and implemented. Omar A. Manjak is one of the panelists on integrating ecosystems with agriculture in enhancing food security. And this is what he has to say. Considering the fact that, um, that the population is growing at a faster rate and already Gambia has released uh, its census findings. So of course I'm um, considering that um, demographic dividends, the population is growing and of course we need to put something on the table to sustain that. So having these important sessions to discuss on how do we try to achieve food security with an increase to food uh, population and equally uh, we'd also increase the food demand in a system where we will not harm 
or if we will harm the environment, it's going to be minimized. So this, is, this stands to be a very important session for me because it's going to avail the, the delegates some of the opportunities some of the youths are doing in terms of addressing food security, equally also to enhance biodiversity. Among the speakers is the Minister of Environment and Natural Resources, Rohi John Manja. She encourages the delegates to develop actionable plans that will benefit not only today's youth, but also future generations. These young people are the people that we expect to lead with energy, vision, determination that will drive the solution we need for climate action. The work being done here today will lay the groundwork for the National Youth Statement, a crucial policy document that captures the voices, recommendations, and demands of our young people. This document will be presented to our government and partners as we prepare for the 19th UN Climate Change Conference of Youths, that's the COF 19, and COP 29, which is the conference of parties that will be held in Azerbaijan. It is vital that we, as a leader, work, listen closely and act on the voices of our youths, ensuring their concerns translate into concrete action. As the team mentioned, they want to make sure that the policies are translated into practical actions. The local conference of youths in climate change recognized by Yongo has for the past two years provided a vital platform for children, youth, policy makers, development partners and other stakeholders to engage in significant dialogue on climate change in the Gambia and develop practical solutions for the future. Reporting for the Fatu Network, Mama Eture.